in this video we are going to solve a problem which was asked in TCS CPA examination this examination is basically conducted for the TCS ninja or digital candidate this question is taken from the unique section which keeps the weightage of 10 marks or 10 percent in this examination this question is named as total asset price and it was asked on 27th March examination so the question statement is Asset details belonging to each department are stored in a file in the following format and each field is separated by comma asset name asset type department and asset price are the field and we have to write the unix command to find the total asset price belonging to the finance department and in any case if there are no asset found belonging to the finance department the displayed output should be no asset found excluding the quotes for more clarity we'll see one example and the example is first we'll get the field that is asset name type department and asset price thereafter we'll get the inputs belonging to these columns and in any case if we found the department as finance then we'll have to calculate the asset price and if the department name is other than finance department then we'll not do anything on that row here in this example you can see that there are three row which contains the department as finance department which leads to the asset price as a total of one lakh so the output is total asset price equals to 1 lakh now we'll see how to write the unix command to find the total asset price belonging to the finance department i am going to use the awk method to solve this question and in any case if you don't find this method suitable for you you can always go and watch our other video which will give you the same solution with the different method you can click on the i button and find the different solution of the same question now we are in our linux g editor and here you can see that we have arranged the input format of the question now we'll see how to write the unix command so let's save this with the name asset price dot txt and create one another file named as asset price dot sh remember dot sh is the extension of cell or the unix where we are going to write the unix command so all right we'll start with the awk followed by two single quotes and inside that we'll write begin and end statement and the bracket of these two now inside this begin bracket we are going to write the field separator or fs so fs equals to comma and the comma should be written inside the quotes here in the question statement you can see that every column or the field is separated by comma so we are using comma as a field separator now our next task is to check whether the number of record is greater than one or not and if number of record is greater than one then we'll check whether the field number 3 or dollar 3 is equals to finance department or not so let's write the command as if followed by bracket nr or number of record is greater than 1 and dollar 3 belongs to the finance since in the question you can see that the f of the finance is small as well as capital in different fields so we are going to use one more conditional statement followed by or operator here i have used the basics of regular expression here the tilde in indicates equals to or belongs to and everything is written inside these slashes will be searched or compared that is dollar three belongs to or equals to finance which is written inside that slashes here the caret sign indicates 
the starting of the regular expression and the dollar sign indicates the end of the regular expression now we are done with the conditional thing of the if statement and the next thing is to write the logic to get the asset price and uh, the thing will be written inside this if conditional statement so to add all the asset price which belongs to finance department will have to take a variable let's say price and we will assign the value of dollar 4 or the asset price to this variable so price equals to dollar 4 and every time when this condition is true then we'll have to add the price so to add this price we'll have to write the plus operator before the equal operator so price plus equals to dollar 4 now the next thing is to print the calculated price and to do that we'll come inside the end bracket and start writing the code so first of all here we'll check whether the price is greater than zero or not and if the price is, is equals to zero then we will simply print no asset found and if the price is greater than zero we'll print the calculated price so let's write if followed by bracket price equals to equals to zero and uh, inside that uh, if bracket we'll write print and uh, inside the double quotes no asset found and if price is not equals to zero we'll go for the else condition so write uh, else and inside the curly braces we'll write print price and at the end we'll simply pass the name of the input format that is asset price dot txt now the next thing is to check whether the written commands is giving us the correct output or not and to do that we'll have to go to the terminal and write the command dot slash and the file name that is asset price dot sh and we'll simply run it so here you can see that the file is executed successfully and we are getting the output as 1 lakh and to make it in the correct output format we'll have to simply type print total asset price equals to and the price then you will get the exact format of the output hope you have liked this video you can always watch our tcs cpa unix playlist which will give you the different ideas or different method of solving the cpa unix questions please give us a like do share and subscribe to our channel